Broadcasting from the Unshackled Studios in Melbourne, this is Wilms Front, brought to you by theunshackled.net. Now here's Tim Wilms. Hey, you there, Dusty? Yeah, mate. Uh, just bring us up on the screen. Oh, you're not there yet. There you are there. How are you going? Sweet, mate. Yeah. Uh, what, what did you Thanks reckon? Me on. Yeah. Uh, in the the super chat that I just read out, what do you what do you uh-huh. reckon? Hair Mate, or I'm gonna hairless? fly down there and wax you myself. Mm. You reckon? So, so, you, so, so you're a fan of that? Yeah, I was. I watched a few of your um interviews from the rally, you know, and I'm just like Austin Powers there having a go. Mm. You know I mean? There are hairier men than me, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, your father, Muhammad, mate. Mm. Although I, th- I think uh, some of those really hairy men, they might be half wolf. Yeah, that's it, mate. Mm. So as, off. Yeah. So as I said, uh, the March for Life in Brisbane, I could find no record of how many people were there, who were the speakers were. There was just a total blackout. So that's, that's why I've got you on to basically fill not just me in, but our audience. Mm. What a joke. Isn't it disgusting? Mm, maybe you just yeah, needed some, some fake Antifa people there just to get the, the media there. <laughs> like have some controlled opposition. Yeah, we're going to start playing by the stupid games, you know what I mean? Mm. No, it was brilliant. Like, you know, we all, we had a few beers at the pub across the road. We met at Queen's Park and then thousands of people marching on Queensland Parliament and it was awesome. You know, they opened in prayer. They had some, you know, they sang a few worship songs and it was like really amazing. They even had a pregnant lady and they like, you could hear her, um, the baby's heart beating in a, in a tummy. You know what I mean? Oh, that's really touching. Yeah. And we had one of the, the superstars uh, from New South Wales who helped uh, amend that, that horrid abortion decriminalization uh, bill uh, Nathaniel Smith. Uh, I've uploaded the, the the speech on the the main Unshackled YouTube channel. I played it on my Sunday night. Will He was he, he was pretty passionate and and fired up. He's he's only just got elected in 2019. He he, he, he so he's going to be a great culture warrior uh, in the years to come. But you had was that the uh, the 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 lady of the uh, the moment are up there tanya davies uh, she addressed the the crowd uh, though you didn't i didn't see you did you get to interview her or at least chat with her no i interviewed the um sheila who runs cherish life so i was kind of stuffing around a bit having a yarn to a few people there heaps of people were like no you know they're just like dusty how you going so i was having a bit of banter and then i was like shit i better go and interview someone and um, I got an interview with the, the Sheila who runs Cherish Life, but by the time we were done, she had to uh, give um, whatever that politician's name from New South Wales, had to give her a lift to the airport, so I run out of time. Yeah, oh, that's that's fair enough. It's yeah. official uh, duties. Uh, it, it took a lot out of me the, the day. Well, I haven't done an event... Uh for a while i know that you you don't you well, uh you have a pretty casual approach you just turn up with your mic and tripod and camera and you just anyone who wants to have a yarn you, you interview them i sort of i i have a sort of much more sort of uh professional mind chat yeah yeah i just add every single interview i've ever done has just winged it i've just winging the whole time no hmm. nothing's organized they don't know who I am, just like, hey, Alan, mm. chuck a microphone in their face and hopefully they go with it. And, yeah, there was a lot of attention at the Melbourne March for the Babies that the local Proud Boys uh, were there. There was, there was also a few Proud Boys from, from interstate who who'd made the journey as well. And uh, the Queensland Proud Boys, uh, they were uh, there as well. Yeah, so we had heaps of Proud Boys in Brizzy. Uh, at our rally and then yeah same time the melbourne chapter was going hard and a few sydney boys joined them so it was awesome it's like good to feel like we're part of something you know we can 
multiple cities go and participate and defend our values you know what i mean so i thought it was inspiring just to see it you know and uh the proud boys for the the day they uh, they had a a special made up uh shirt that uh if i was aborted i would have never been able to grow to be a proud boy <laughs> <laughs> what legends i can't believe how good they are so proud of them but you know that uh men are not allowed to have an opinion on abortion you do know that don't you oh i don't play by the silly pc rules do you know that tim Yes, but that's the... Even though the, the Melbourne counter-protest that was organised by a, a man, uh, Christopher Johnson, in fact, he's already put up a Facebook event for the counter-protest March for the Babies the, the next year. So they're allowed to lead the, the counter-protest, but it seems not participate uh, in the, the pro-life. Oh, man. I just want them to come to Brisbane and counter-protest. That would be so much fun. Uh, even though uh, anti-fascist action Brisbane, they they talk a big game on on Facebook. Uh, uh, to my knowledge, it's still run that Facebook page by Kathleen uh, McLeod. But is it just all? What about all the Extinction Rebellion protesters? Like, didn't I they... guarantee it? It's all the same people, right? So they're all anti-fires gone full vegan, Tim, up in Queensland. They don't have the energy to make it to the the counter protests anymore. You know, they're all fucking weak wristed can't handle it they need to have a buddy new hungry jacks uh rebel whopper no beef mm. that was one of the funny things uh, during the week that the extinction rebellion uh protesters uh, spotted at maccas <laughs> oh what fucking double standard bastards eh mm. They should have at least gone to Hungry Jack's. No, they should have gone to Lord of the Fries, the, the vegan fast food outlet. Is it? Is it yeah. all... Lord of the Fries, all vegan, huh? Yeah. You've got one in Brisbane? Oh, maybe. Mm. I wouldn't but know. Oh, but it's not, not... You haven't passed one? There's a few in Melbourne. I guess we are the home of... Uh, although... This is the thing, that the reason why the biggest pro-life marches were in Melbourne and Brisbane is because you've got far-left Labour governments in power in both states who, well, it's not just uh, abortion uh, laws. Uh, I know that there's a push uh, by Palaszczuk and Trad to, to introduce euthanasia. We've already got euthanasia uh, here in uh, Victoria. I'm not sure sort of what the state of safe schools uh, is in in Queensland, uh, but mm. uh, yeah, the, as I mentioned with Kathy before, the Safe Schools uh, creator Ros Ward, she was at the the counter uh, protest, the, the the radical Marxist. Was she? Hard oh, out. Yeah. Haven't they rebranded the Safe Schools to uh, respectful relationships or something? No, that's a separate program. That's an that's anti-domestic violence uh, program, but it's about. Uh, uh, countering agenda stereotypes it's like the old they'll try well we had the um gender bred person yes you said it right so, i remember yeah. you called I it, it right. yeah gender bred person not gender I've bred slowly man. Been brainwashed mate you mm. know i'm just bombarded and i'm fucking changing my language and capitulating to the rubbish yes well you've got a it's their words, not yours. You've got to factually report uh, what they're doing in mm. to, to point out their absurdity. Yeah. See, they had what they had this year. I know in Queensland they had uh, Purple Day. It's across. I think it's across. Yeah, yeah. The world. Purple Day is mm. it's yeah Australia thing at schools. Uh, I think not yeah. just high schools, primary schools as well. Where yeah, I was were. actually, no, uh, I was actually wearing purple to the. Um, march for the babies uh, i'm not you, you you would have seen my interviews so mate all i could see was just hair sticking i, I was memorized i couldn't tell what color your shirt was mm. no <laughs> austin powers mate but you you're actually supposed to wear either blue or pink at the the march for the babies because oh. obviously blue for boys and pink for girls because... i'll remember that for next next year Babies are only, they come out two genders. Mm. Two genders, bro. Mm. That's the new, right that's the new hate symbol. Yeah. yeah. And how was the, um, how was Avi Yemeni's 
footage he got from the day, and you know you can actually see them Nazis, Nazis, mm. and all, and he's just going up and interviewing all the um, obviously, you know, non-European Australians, and they were just like, what? What's going on? Yeah, it was a pretty multi-racial uh, event. Uh, there, there was uh, Indians, Sri Lankans, uh, Asians. Uh, there was uh, Pacific Islanders. There, there was the heaps there. That's and awesome. I remember the the, the first uh, march for the babies that uh, I attended. It was way back in 2014. Uh, this was when probably Rise Up Australia. Do you, you know of that political party? I interviewed. Yeah, is uh, that the Indian dude? Uh, like a uh, Sri Lankan, or... yeah, uh, Danny Nialia. On what did last... he have a stroke or something? Didn't he? No. Uh, ah, I thought he... there was something wrong with him. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I interviewed um, the second most prominent member of the Rise Up Australia last Wednesday, uh, City of Casey Councillor Rosalie uh, Cristani, and yes, uh, they've deregistered now, basically because the the minor party scene is becoming too too crowded obviously with a new voting system it's more difficult for for them to to compete and they have a bit more faith in in pentecostal uh scomo uh but uh, they had a a advertising truck uh at the 2014 march because they were competing in the 2014 victorian state election and it got mm. vandalized with the uh spray paint racist on it and i'm not sure if you've ever seen one of rise up australia's uh, commercials, uh, but it shows like they're, uh, they're they're doing the. Uh, it sort of looks like a solidarity fist, but I, I don't think that was their intention. It's basically uh, those uh, the the Rise Up Australia ads. You you literally have to spot the white person there. It's full on every race in the yeah. Rise Up Australia party ads. So calling them I mean, race... a lot of multi, a lot of Pentecostal kind of churches are like that. Like very. You know, mm. mixed race. You know what mm. I mean, mm. and that—that's what that guy's church or his movement is. Is he's what of the Pentecostal church movement? I don't know. It was Must formerly be. Catch the the Fire Ministries. That that's what it uh, uh, right. normally yeah. used to be called. Uh, but uh, it it's actually rebranded now. I'll see if I can. Yeah, right. Find... Anyway, you know what I'm saying. They're all whether it's Hillsong or c3 church whatever the movement is it's the called new... the, the the reformation harvest fire ministries that's what it's called now nice mm. they sound bloody excellent mm. oh well if you have you been down to melbourne i've come to visit you in in brisbane maybe i will because after i came down to sydney and had a great time i said to my missus we should go down to melbourne and I, but I made a condition. I said only if we go to Bongwood and go hunting for yowies first, you know. And now I sh saw you in the live chat uh, earlier tonight, and so you saw my my monologue on how well it's mainly A and Z uh, shutting all the Patriots' uh, bank accounts for un unspecified reason. Uh, yeah. Your uh, uh, debit card still works as of the time of this broadcast. Uh, yeah. Thank goodness. No. Mm. They shut it down. It'll be great. The wife will stop spending all the money. No. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a doozy. Yeah. That, yeah that... <laughs> but what a dog act would that be? You know what I mean? Mm. How would you be? You'd just be thinking, yeah, mm. mate, pay for my fuel. And they'll be like, your card's not working. Mm. Like, fuck. Ah, all right. Well, you have been uh, targeted by the, the anti-fascist uh, White Rose Society. They did a write-up on, on mm. you. What is they called you? A, a, a... Christo-fascist. Yeah, yeah, that word there. Yeah. Wear it with pride. Mm. Now uh, I can just say, repent all you sinners everywhere I go. It's perfectly acceptable. That's what you expect from me, you know? Yes, but uh, you're 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 in their their sights now because well it was after uh, Bob Catter uh, did his what is it his second degree uh, with, with the Queensland Proud Boys. Oh, Bob, the King of the North. Mm. You know, he's the greatest Proud Boy we have. Well, it's his party, um, which is 
associated with the, the campaign to have a, a separate North Queensland state, well, given what's happening in the, the southeast, which with the, the, uh, the radicals uh, taking over and appearing to, to have the biggest voice in the parliament, I think uh, that that campaign should have uh, more more steam in it. I know that uh, Matt Canavan, uh, he's expressed somewhat sort of uh, sympathy with the, the, the message for, for North Queensland to be their own state. Matt Canavan, he's a good bloke. He, last year he was at the um, Cherish Life rally. I didn't see him this year. Yeah, you interviewed him uh, a uh. year back. Uh, there, there was no attention at the time that uh, he, he was interviewed on a far-right neo-fascist channel. Because... I know, I've, I've interviewed heaps of politicians and it's funny how it's only the Bob Catter one. I guess it's because he, we kind of tricked him into saying the pledge, so, you know. But he just said it was a bit of larrikinism. I didn't take it yeah. really seriously. Like, just a, a bit of larrikinism. Yeah. He had no idea what, he, like, what he's really doing, yeah. eh? Yeah. And... Just like, say this, Bob, say that, you know? And he's like, righto, boys. Fucking giving yeah. us his hat and... He's a living legend, Bob Catter. And, and that response, it, it doesn't throw the Proud Boys under the bus. It, it just says, oh, uh, I didn't really know who they were, but it was just a bit of larrikinism, you know, whatever. He doesn't say, oh, I had no idea I was hanging out with this horrid organization. <laughs> well, like, look how stupid it is. You see, we see from that Arby's footage, everyone's a Nazi. Everyone's far right. They're, they're screaming at people from every fucking continent on the earth. Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. So they're like, oh, they call me a Christo fascist and they call us all these fucking names. They mean absolutely nothing. No, it's lost all meaning. Nazi, fascist, racist, uh, whatever. It means absolutely nothing. It's fucking stupid. But... Because I think uh, one of the... Uh, the, the doxing uh, photos that uh, Antifa took of the, the the Proud Boys during the March for the Babies. Uh, uh, it, somebody said it was taken by Ros Ward. It, it showed uh, one of the um, the the new uh, prospects, uh, who's a, a, a reigns from from Hong Kong. So you have this oh, yeah. clearly Asian anti-communist and anti-totalitarian. A uh, young activist there. He's apparently part of this racist and fascist mm. organization. That's how you know that it, that everything is just upside down now. They're so stupid. With the Bob Catter one, right? So they're like, they ride up, they smear and us, saying all this crap. And in the in the footage of us with Bob Catter, there's a proud boy, Fijian proud boy with beautiful long dreadlocks, right? And then there was that other one with Lyle Shelton, where one of the Proud Boys did its okay to be a Proud Boy sign. And uh, guess who's sitting next to Lyle Shelton? A Proud Boy who's a Maori. You know what I mean? So every time they think they've caught us out, and it's like clearly that we're multi-ethnic group, you know? But um, haven't you, you? You clearly haven't been watching a Trans Tasman talk with uh, my New Zealand counterpart uh, Duo De Boer from Right Minds. Basically, the the biggest Nazis in New Zealand are the the Maoris. They don't want yeah. foreigners uh, coming in. Uh, their their treaty that they had ha had over there with uh, the British settlers. It was basically we'll let you um, British come in, but no other people so you have the the mongrel mob but uh, one of their their leaders has a swastika tattoo so it wouldn't surprise me that uh, this uh, fascist organization has maori members oh yeah mate they're amazing <laughs> it's just so fucking stupid you know but it's just the symbol of saying fuck you you know to the system that's that's what the maoris in new zealand are all about i grew up in new zealand i remember going as a kid so like judo we all had we all drove to bloody dunedin and then we all pulled up and got some maccas and the mongrel mob bang pulled up beside us with our bikes and they're like bashing on the bloody van on the window and we're all like kids sitting there all these mongrel mob dudes with fucking nazi tatters and i think they have like a british bulldog with a 
you know, Nazi um, helmet on. Is like that symbol, something like that. Yeah, they're 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 pretty wild uh, <laughs> over there. Uh, so, but but that um, Proud Boys, they aren't big in New Zealand, even though like most New Zealand patriots and nationalists are civic nationalists. It it sort yeah. of hasn't taken off. Yeah, well, we got a few members over there, so I guess. Uh, they are a bit more quiet in New Zealand after all the bullshit that's gone on and the cracking down. So, Proud Boys New Zealand chapters are there. They're just quiet, you know. Well, breaking news today that uh, MAGA 2020 hats are, are now a uh, able to be sold on the Ooh. the Trade uh, Me uh, New Zealand website. The MAGA 2020 New Zealand is make our turn uh, go away. So. Uh, as it's termed, the stardust has worn off uh, Jacinda Dow uh, less than an, a year until an election. And Queensland has got uh, their state election October 2020 around the, the, the same time. You, you could also have MAGA 2020 make Anastasia go away. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. I'm going to, I think I'm just going to go around, just plaster the Anastasia's electorate with bloody posters, you know. I might even start it soon just gonna be like you know a good six months of fucking plastering and nala the whole area with you know maybe it'll be because you know the hurt anastasia's electorate is full of vietnamese people who hate communism and it's like one day the light bulbs just gonna go bang and they'll be like this bitch is a fucking communist you know yeah, yeah. i mean well if she's not a communist herself she uh, she has as a right-hand uh, woman, Jackie Trad, who is a communist, who electorate of South Brisbane takes in the, the Antifa area. Yeah. Yeah, they're both as bad as one another, mate. I call them goblins, you know. It smells like sulfur if you go into their mm. electorate. It's fucking portal from hell, mate. At... But it's amazing just how Queensland has changed in the past 30 years. Everyone's been saying with the climate protesters uh, like, use, well, uh, suspending themselves from the bridge and uh, using those locking devices because uh, Joe Biocchi-Peterson, who was the, the Premier in the, the late 60s, 70s and most of the 80s, he, well, he didn't like protests at all. He like arrested like 200 of them, which in my opinion is over the top but a lot of people are sort of saying this week i don't you wish joe was back just to deal with these people just lock them up mate mm. well they're getting out of control we had one of our proud boys down there uh the other week when they had the extinction rebellion they fucking blocked i don't know the william jolly bridge one of the proud boys was in the crowd just watching standing on the footpath you know mm. and he said it's like they're fucking breaking the law. You know, they're standing on the road and the cops are like ripping them off, arresting them, dragging them off the bridge. Heaps of them then start moving onto the footpath and it's like, that's okay. You can protest, just don't block the fucking roads, you morons. Yeah, I mean, a peace. you can still peacefully protest even if Anastasia Palaszczuk passes these laws against locking devices. You could still... Well, I hope you could still go outside uh, uh, Jonathan Suria's office. He's the, the Greens uh, councillor on the, the Brisbane City Council, calling him an um, eco-commie. It'd be interesting if he called the police. Then he probably, <laughs> he, he probably would. Oh, they're like best mates with that bloke, all the anti-fire and extinction rebellion. Hmm. Right. Hmm. I've seen that guy it's at the Liberal... Uh, the Labor Day march, running around with fucking... Literally, there were guys with communist flags, like a big bunch of them. And there's that greeny bloke running down the fucking street. I'm like, there you go. Another goblin. Well, uh, good on you, uh, Dusty, for well, being the, the only media outlet, it seems, uh, covering the, the March uh, for Life. Uh, so check out uh, Dusty's uh, interviews uh, over on his uh, channel. 
uh, because that's the only record uh, that, that there seems to be. And, oh. well, we hope that uh, YouTube doesn't take uh, action against you like they did on your uh, Kiwi buddy, the Medicine Man. He got oh, nuked no. last night. Oh, Medicine Man. He, like, he was a right of guy. He would troll me. He was like my troll. Hmm. He was always going on about stuff and i had to boot him from my chat hmm. so anyway <laughs> i wonder if he has another life on uh some other platform you know we'll see uh, i saw his alt in uh my uh, ch uh live chat on trans tasman talk last night i think if you begin your all your videos by calling youtube youtube i think they're eventually going to get you yeah, yeah yeah he he has no like no, no kind of tactic to him at all you know well, you keep fighting for life, humanity, and, and freedom up in uh, Queensland. We'll keep doing the same uh, down here in, in Melbourne and Victoria. Though we seem to have a better army because there's not just me. There's Maddie and XYZ, Dia. Uh, there's Bill Muhlenberg down here. There's a whole bunch of, of people. So, well... I think the uh, Australian, what was it, the Australian Christian Lobby had some um, event on in Sydney. So I think a lot of our, like Dave Palo. Yeah, he's up there. there so he was... missed out on the pro-life rally. I reckon he would have been there with his camera if he wasn't down in Sydney for the weekend. Mm. What but... about Lyle? Was he... Did he... Yeah, Lyle was there. I yep. had a chat with him. Nice. And, uh, you know, because he, he got the blowback from the uh, photo he had with us. So he mm. was like... You know, I'm always like, dude, you're a legend of a guy. I, I actually look up to him big time. And, uh, you know, I was just like, sorry to get you any flack, mate. Uh, he, uh, you know, he, he's copped uh, bigger batterings than that. Um, uh, yeah. same, with, same with Bernie Finn. He didn't throw any of us under uh, the bus. He just said the only uh, undesirable extremists there were the, the counter protesters which i think was the the perfect line we've all got to everyone wants to to hop off now to watch uh, dia's uh live stream all right so sweet i'll jump in the comment section thanks for having you on mate legend thank you for the report cheers brother all right catch up thanks for tuning in to wilms front visit timwilms.com or rational rise tv to view the archive of episodes and keep visiting theunshackled.net to view all our shows and to keep up with the latest real news and analysis.